I take it he was agreeable? He didn't really have a choice. Has he been infected? Oh yes, most certainly. When I mentioned that we could put him on the priority list for the Ambrosia vaccine, he was so willing it was almost pathetic. This play, the rioting is intensifying to the point where we may not be able to contain it. Why contain it? Let it spill over to the schools and churches. Let the bodies pile up in the streets. In the end, they'll beg us to save them. I've received reports of armed attacks on shipments. There's not enough vaccine to go around, and the underclasses are starting to get desperate. Of course they're desperate. They can smell their death, and the sound they'll make rattling their cage will serve as a warning to the rest. Hmm. I hope you're not underestimating the problem. The others may not go as quietly as you think. Intelligence indicates they're behind the problems in Paris. A bunch of pretentious old men playing at running the world. But the world left them behind long ago. We are the future. We have other problems. UNATCO? Formed by executive order after the terrorist strike on the statue. I have someone in place, though. I'm more concerned about Savage. He relocated to Vandenberg. Our biochem corpus is far in advance of theirs, as is our electronic sentience. And their ethical inflexibility has allowed us to make progress in areas they refuse to consider. The Augmentation Project? Among other things, but I must admit that I have been somewhat disappointed in the performance of the primary unit. The secondary unit should be online soon. It's currently undergoing preparation and will be operational within six months. My people will continue to report on its progress. Necessary, the primary will be terminated. We've had to endure much, you and I, but soon there will be order again. A new age. Aquinas spoke of the mythical city on the hill. Soon that city will be a reality, and we will be crowned its kings. Or better than kings. God. What's up, JC? Your brother Paul is on his way to meet you at the dock. The NSF is raiding the island and shots have been fired. I repeat, find Paul. I will monitor your situation from HQ. Welcome aboard, Agent. Paul, I thought you were in Hong Kong. Welcome to the Coalition, JC. I might as well start using your code name. Think I'd miss my brother's first day? Didn't think you'd have a choice. What's going on? The NSF. They hit one of our shipments. A few of them got away, but we trapped the rest in the statue. What are we waiting for? Looks like a textbook assault. The NSF took one of our agents hostage. The bots are holding the perimeter, but my orders are to hold back and send you in alone. I think someone high up wants to see how you handle the situation. All I've got with me is a pistol and an electric prod. I don't mind a test, but Unaco better issue some hardware. Remember that we're police. Stick with the prod. It'll stun your opponents or knock them unconscious. A non-lethal takedown is always the most silent way to eliminate resistance. Just in case, though, Manderly wants you to pick an additional weapon. A sniper rifle, a gep gun, or a mini crossbow. Never know when I might come up against some heavy armor. The gep gun might be useful. They have a security bot on patrol near the statue entrance. Great. What's the first move? I'm going to give you a map of the island. If you can get to the North Dock, a UNATCO informant will give you a key to the statue doors. He responds to the code phrase, iron and copper. You could avoid a lot of fighting, though, if you found a back way to the statue. I'll see how it looks on shore. Your primary objective is the makeshift command center the terrorists have installed at the top of the statue, but don't forget about Agent Harriman. We think he's being held on the ground floor. What are my orders when I reach the command center? Interrogate the leader. We don't yet know why the terrorists would risk an open assault. What's your take on the situation, Corporal? The bots have them bottled up, sir. We'd go right in if it weren't for the whole back order. How'd they get one of our agents? Gunter went rogue on us. When the order came, he wouldn't pull back. Now you get to bail him out. NSF everywhere, JC. Your orders are to shoot on sight. A UNATCO informant on the North Dock can get you inside the statue. Look for a bum. Identify yourself with the phrase, iron and copper.
Who's there? If you want to make a covert approach, remember the Academy stealth course. Stay out of their field of view, walk slowly to stay quiet, and crouch behind cover. Or if you have to get your hands dirty, remember that a headshot is a lethal takedown. I got this one. Welcome aboard, Agent. Everything was clear an hour ago. Then... has set up patchwork security systems here.
must have been damaged in the raid. Don't cross through the arcs. I'm also picking up an EMP field here. If you're not careful, it'll suck away your bioelectrical energy. and the NSF moved right on in, offloading the cargo into speedboats. Our undercover man, Harley Philbin, should be somewhere out on the docks now.
about time you showed up. Iron and copper. The statue is copper on an iron frame, right? Password's enough, pal. Don't think you know something about the lady I don't. My dad did tours out here. I heard that you can get me inside. Depends. You get your man out, take back the statue, whatever. But I know the commander, and I don't want to see him get hurt. Here's a picture so you don't make a mistake. You can trust me. I'll take your word. Here's the key to the front entrance. The commander's not much of a soldier. He'll surrender as soon as he sees you. I need him alive because he's my main contact at the NSF. If he's dead, I don't have much of a business. Thanks. You with Philbin? I get a cut for bringing him over. Tell me what you know about the NSF operation. I'm not that high level. The more elite troops, they're the ones that took over the ship and unloaded it into speedboats. I think we're supposed to be a diversion. A ship? That's all I know. The commander gave me a 10 millimeter clip, a box of 30 off 6 ammo, and some crossbow darts, and said keep your head down. <laughs> like I'm gonna take on your NATCO troops. Want them? You can have the clip for 175, the 30 out 6 for 300, and the darts for 50. But if I was you, I'd avoid a head-on attack altogether and not even use the key Philbin got. I'd go in the statue from the back. Less security that way. I'll give you 50 for the darts. The commander's the whole reason my neighborhood turned into a war zone. Somebody should stick him full of these things like a roast pig.
I saw somebody. Find the ship? Yeah, we got the whole supply. You can see the ship's lights crossing the bay. Guess y'all are get right. this pig. So why are we pulling out? Mike's on the horn. Jojo. That's him. He's a cop. That's him. He's a cop. This guy wasn't just a grunt. What's going on? Where I heard something. Ooh. I swear they found us, fascist. Oh. 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 I'm hit. Ooh. Grade security bot in this area. You can either avoid its patrol route or, if you're feeling lucky, try and take it out with the EMP grenades or explosives. I wouldn't recommend taking it on with small arms. is being held behind this laser triggered alarm. If you don't want to set off the alarm, you can either hack the control panel in the doorway or find a way around. My blueprint of the statue shows a few air shafts. Who was that? I didn't see a uniform. I think we that's him. He's a cop. The security setup is strictly amateur stuff. Keep an eye out for ways to bypass it. These old pre-millennial buildings are riddled with ventilation shafts and maintenance tunnels.
careful. These Unatco guys got all the tricks. is being held behind this laser triggered alarm. If you don't want to set off the alarm, you can either hack the control panel in the doorway or find a way around. My blueprint of the statue shows a few air shafts. This security setup is strictly amateur stuff. Keep an eye out for ways to buy this. These old pre-millennial buildings are riddled with ventilation shafts and maintenance tunnels. Where I heard something. I can swear I heard something. Who's there? I think the law's on us. I guess it's nothing. I saw some pig. Oh, oh. Tim, he's a cop. Is someone there? Is someone there? There's in that room, one of our top agents. I 
know I heard so. Oh. Fascist. Oh. No, I heard something. Gunther's in there. I think we've got an intruder. Top agents. I think we got cops. Who's there? I think the law's on us. Nothing. I guess we're safe. Is someone... <laughs> Glad you're not hurt, Agent. Command should not have left us to be surrounded. Risk is part of the job. I think you lucked out this time. Agent Navarra and I were ready to go in, but for no reasons I said pull back. I do not retreat. Please give me a weapon and move out of the way. First thing is to get you out of here. I'll handle the enemy. Excuse that I have forgotten your brother Paul Denton and the infinite power of nano-augmentation. I just can't spare any arms. Please retreat to a safe location. Go ahead. Advance up the stairs to the command center at the top. I will take my rusty metal bones and sweep away into the junk pile.
NSF put a commercial grade security bot in this area. You can either avoid its patrol route or, if you're feeling lucky, try and take it out with the EMP grenades or explosives. I wouldn't recommend taking it on with small arms. I saw someone, a guy in a coat. Forget it. I was hearing things. Quiet. Ah! Oh! Mm -hmm. Glad you're not a command risk is agent. First, I just go ahead. NSF put a commercial grade security bot in this area. You can either avoid its patrol route or, if you're feeling lucky, try and take it out with the EMP grenades or explosives. I wouldn't recommend taking it on with small arms. Did they find the shipment? Yeah, we got. The Thought I saw someone. A guy in a coat. Take huh? him out. Established contact. He says you helped him escape. Good work. 
Some news, JC. The NSF targeted a shipment of the plague vaccine Ambrosia. We can't locate it. See if the leader will surrender when you reach the command post. We'd like to interrogate him. Let's get out of here. I'm standing my ground. They sprung. I think we've got an intruder. I guess it's nothing. Huh? Take him out. Ah! Oh! 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 Don't shoot. I surrender. So you think you know better than FEMA what to do with this month's Ambrosia shipment? You're too late. It's on its way back to the people, and you can't do a damn thing about it. Tell me about the shipment, and I'll order the troops to pick you up as a prisoner instead of a corpse. Ask away. We already won this round. Where are you taking it? We're just giving ordinary people the same chance to survive as the bureaucrats in Washington. You'll have to unload New York because the choppers would spot you at sea. I think the government made the plague on purpose to get rid of the population growth. Well done. I will pass on your orders to the troopers. Report back to base on the west side of the island. Mission complete. Just answer the question. Don't believe me? It's all in the numbers. For a hundred years, there's been a conspiracy of plutocrats against ordinary people. Do you have a single fact to back that up? Number one. In 1945, corporations paid 50% of federal taxes. Now they pay about 5%. Number two. In 1900, 90% of Americans were self-employed. Now it's about 2%. So? It's called consolidation. Strengthen governments and corporations, weaken individuals. With taxes, this can be done imperceptibly over time. The chief finally let us loose. We were right behind you and cut through them like a hot knife through butter. They sent us in to pick up the pieces.
We've got the island secured. How did things look in the statue? The leader surrendered. So they were after Ambrosia. A month's supply for the East Coast. We think they've taken it back to the city. I didn't know Unatco handled the Ambrosia distribution. Manderley will brief us shortly. Unatco makes sure the limited supply of vaccine gets to government agencies and key industries. It's good to finally see some action. Just keep a level head. You're doing well so far. Now get inside. I'll meet you in Manderley's office, level two. Way to go, sir. I thought Gunther was a goner. It's my first day, too. I'm pretty excited. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Uh, that's against protocol, Agent. I was in your class at the academy. You probably don't remember. Scanner can read blood vessel patterns right through your sunglasses. Remember that Mr. Manderley wants to see you. Level 2. His secretary, Janice Reed, has your login and password. Before the briefing, you've got to go to level 3 for your equipment and a medical examination. See Jaime Reyes in the med center and Sam Carter in the armory. That was a close one up there. Hey, JC. You look like the real thing. They actually let you operate on people? Just fix Gunther's knee, in fact. A sticky actuator. So far, I feel more like a mechanic than a doctor. I'm impressed. They actually let you point a gun at people. We'll have to catch up later. I've got to leave for New York right away. Could you send Manderley whatever it is he wants? No problem. Listen, JC. About your augmentations. You know they're preparing to roll out the technology worldwide, right? As long as I don't turn green and grow a pair of antennas, as I understand it. Yeah, well, the design's pretty modular, which means you'll soon have access to upgrades from standard augmentation canisters. Great. Have anything for me? Not yet. But remember, if you find one of these canisters, that you need a med bar for installation. I'll do that. The canisters contain a colloid of ROM modules. Some are generic upgrades, others require you to make permanent choices about how to configure one of your subsystems. It's about time they implemented some of this stuff. Have you met your partner yet, Anna Navarra? I think she and Gunter are upstairs in the break room. Haven't run into her. A real piece of work. Maybe you should compare notes before the operation. You never know. She might go easier on you. Careful. I don't like getting shot at. Not one bit. How unprofessional. Ah. Thank God my shift is almost over.
Way to go, sir. Set operation in school. I'm not a general anymore. Just call me Carter. I can't believe what the NSF did to your family. Enough of that, soldier. We each have our troubles. I lost my children, but you've had to grow up without your parents, which requires more courage. I don't think it matters. My parents died in a car accident. That's different. I said that's enough. You have your own op, and time is short. How about I issue you a stealth pistol? Sorry, sir. I can't get. So let's see. The smart lock. That's right. Are you sure you pressed the right button? I do not make mistakes of that kind. Your hand might have slipped. No, I wanted orange. It gave me lemon lime. The machine would not make a mistake. It's the maintenance man. He knows I like orange. So you think the staff has some kind of plot? Yes, they do that on purpose. My new partner, J.C. Denton. Don't tell me you're going to wear those sunglasses during a night operation. My vision is augmented. Better to look good than to have the distractions of another agent who needs backup. Forgive my interruption. I just wanted to say that I look forward to working with you, Agent Navarra. Also, excuse me, I've got to be briefed by Mr. Manderley. I do not expect you to perform as well as Agent Herman, but the mission will require us to do more than frighten the NSF with our baggy coats that make us look bigger than we really are. I am prepared to perform my duties. For instance, not to be a man running into enemy lines without coordinated military assault. No problem. You will be working with Anna Navarre. CD, password, bionic man. Good work out there, Mr. Denton. Mr. Manderley said you handled yourself nice. Is Mr. Manderley available? Yes, go right in. By the way, your... Alex already... What's the idea, J.C.? That will be J.C.'s job. What's that? Power station. The NSF have Ambrosia in a warehouse protected by cameras and booby traps. We want to power down the whole system. We're taking one illicit generating plant, protected by weak groups of NSF knock out that plant 
and Paul's team can walk right into the warehouse. Just tell me where it is. The NSF are openly resisting our deployed forces, gradually falling back. You have to deal with them first. And you be ready, Paul. When the power drops, go in and go in hard. I'll use my discretion. Go in like the U.S. Marshals. We lose the vaccine, I'm sending your butt to the mayor to explain why he and his three daughters won't get their pills this month. Yes, sir. Let's not waste any time, JC. Get down to the dock. A boat is waiting to take you and your partner, Anna Navarro, to shore. Yes, get moving. Here's your op bonus for the great job you did in the statue, plus 250 for rescuing Agent Herman. That's 1250. We take care of our people around here. Thank you, sir. By the way, Ditton, stay out of the ladies' restroom. That kind of activity embarrasses the agency more than it does you. We'll meet up in the city. You'll come to admire your partner. She's one of our best. from where you arrived it. Thank <laughs> you. 